How big of a difference does mic placement make anyway? Let's find out. So today we're going to be using the Sennheiser 421 to my right, your left, and one of the most popular mics out there. And it's for good reason. It's I think it's literally been in every studio I've ever walked into. Uh, it just performs. It's it it's a fantastic mic for toms and floor toms. So I have them on all three toms, uh, 13, 15, 18 set up today, and uh, you'll hear exactly what they sound like. I'm gonna use uh, no EQ or compression today, so it's just gonna be the microphone and the drum. So you can hear exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to stay with one tuning uh, and one tom so you can hear uh, the difference between the positioning because I'm going to go from really super close um, miking and then you know go up from there, give it some space and see what that does, change the angle. I know that some people like to point it directly towards the uh, center of the drum. I'm one of them. And some people like to just point it straight down, so right on the edge. And I suspect that's gonna uh, give you a lot of overtones. All right, so example one here is the uh, microphone is right at the edge of the drum. It's about a half an inch up and uh, from the head. And it's, uh, yeah, just pointing straight up and down. And the, uh, the drum is actually tuned really super low. And I think it's gonna produce you know, with the mic position where it's at, I think it's gonna just basically amplify the, the uh, overtones. So let's see what it sounds like. Okay, now the microphone is pointed to the center of the drum, about a half an inch off the uh, rim. I'll adjust the angle as I raise the mic. Right now, it's pointed directly towards the center, about a half an inch off the rim, which would make it about three quarters of an inch off the actual drum head. So let's see the difference here. Okay, so now we're about two and a half, two and three quarters off the drum head and angled a little bit more. So let's uh, see what we got. And finally, we're at uh, four inches off the drum head, pointed towards the center of the tom. And let's uh, see what we get.
a million years would I have thought that I could mic a kit that close and have it sound good. A half inch pointed towards the center, it totally works. For me anyway, I really preferred that one. Which one did you prefer? Uh, did you like the straight up and down? Maybe it, it would work for something uh, and you're like, yeah, that's exactly the sound I'm looking for. Go for it, do it, make it happen. I preferred the half inch pointed towards the center. Inch and a half was good too. It started to lose a little something for me, which is funny because I usually do about two to three inches off the top of the head. And I've been doing that for about three or four years now. And I guess it just, you know, it's a good thing I did this video, I learned something. So anyway, if you got something out of this video, please consider subscribing. I would sincerely appreciate it. And next week, I'm gonna be going over a uh, miking situation where I'm miking the kit with one mic and doing a couple different variations. So it should be a fun one. See you next Monday.